So in this problem, we're going to be looking at an axially loaded uniform steel bar as shown in the diagram. And we're going to break it down into a series of parts. Uh, initially, we're going to, of course, solve for the reaction at A, uh, which will then allow us to construct an axial force diagram. We'll do that in a couple different uh, fashions and then go on to calculate the displacements along the bar uh, ultimately leading to the absolute displacement at D from which we will construct the axial displacement diagram. So we've laid out uh, our problem so that it should be fairly easy to create a free body diagram which is always the first step to solving one of these problems. So I'm just going to pick up my pen and add in the forces on the bar and we see those here and quickly change colors and I'm going to put my reaction uh, on the other one so my reaction I'm going to draw it in going to the left just because I think that that's probably the direction that it's going to go so I'll label these up so we have reaction at a in the x direction and these were eight kilonewtons 4 kilonewtons and 7 kilonewtons and to be complete we better label our diagram. So uh, from the axial force diagram the first the next step would be to solve for our reaction so I'll just label our diagram solve for reaction I'll underline that and we will apply our single equation of static equilibrium sum of the forces in the x direction equal to zero and we will go negative rax plus eight kilonewtons plus four kilonewtons minus seven kilonewtons and so we end up with rax equal to five kilonewtons and I'll go ahead and transfer that information over onto our axial force diagram.